we are going to do the indexing swap in SolidWorks. I believe previously did this uh, component, but it has a little mistake. So I am going to redo it again. So just follow these steps. First of all, the units are given in millimeter. So change the units to millimeter. And we are going to open the sketching on the right plane. So click here on sketch and select this right plane. So right plane is uh, in front of you. Um, so now just draw the uh, sketch. So first of all, I am going to draw a central line from this origin point and make sure you draw a vertical line like that. The relation symbol is showing here in the yellow box. Okay, place it here and then just uh, select the line tool and we have to draw uh, this component. So just go here and draw a horizontal line, then up and draw a vertical line, then go here and horizontal line, vertical line, and then just uh, connect this point with this reference line or center line like that. So sketch is close here. We're just going to add the mirror and I'm going to select uh, this line, all of these lines, make sure these lines are selected and mirror about for the mirror about i'm going to select this center line and check left check mark now just to a small dimension and put the dimension as given in the drawing so for this overall dimension this is 70 type 70 and this dimension we have 20 and it's five this one we have five and this one we have 15 just place these okay so now the sketch is fully defined we just completed this simple sketch and then exit the sketch now we have to go to the features and extrude this sketch click here on extrude and we are going to use the mid plane so half of the extrusion will be in this side and half will be on the other side and for this extrusion we are going to put 60 okay click check more okay next we are going to open the sketch on this top plane and make it in front of you by going here normal to do and then start thing with this line tool now start a line from here draw a vertical line like that then a horizontal line then a line at some angle and this was the mistake in previous video this line you have to draw it a horizontal line like that and then again a vertical line and close this sketch by adding a horizontal line and now just use the smart dimension tool and we have to dimension this sketch according to the given drawings if you have the drawing okay now just select this part and here we have 10 millimeter and for this one we have 15 millimeter and angle between this line and this line here we have 16 and this line and with respect to this edge this dimension we have 20 now you can see this sketch is fully defined. Exit this sketch and now we are going to export this sketch to a blind direction and the height of this direction and uh, this extrusion or depth is 15. Okay, click check mark. Now for here we are going to make a cut. So open this sketch on this face, smaller face. You can also open the sketch on the back face, but I like this front one. Okay, now draw a rectangle like that. Sorry, triangle. And in this dimension we have 20, 20 degree. And from this point to this point, in this dimension we have 35 like that. And exit this sketch. And now we are going to go to feature and extrude cut and use it through all. So it will uh, remove this material and make this part from there. Okay, next we have to make a hole here. And this is comfortable, so we can use the hollow wizard and move, make sure you select this uh, comfortable option and NC metric. And for the this in this option show custom sizing, you have to check it. Here, this is 10, this is 20, and this is 5. And annotation through R. We go to position and and for the position, I click on this face and now just place this hole at this position. Go to normal view and here select the small dimension tool from this point to this, it's 15. And then from this point to this, this is 35. So it's in the middle. And then check mark and check mark. 
so we just make this counter border okay so this part is done if you want we just go here and make the drawing from the board yes okay the file is location is not perfect Try to do the same name. No, we want to make a new drawing because I already did that. And for the template of the drawing, select A2 ISO. ISO is used for the metric units. And then select the front here, just click here and drag it and place it here. We will go in the upper direction so it has the front view. So we'll go in the right direction so it has the right view and now we'll go here so we have the isometric view so this way we added these four faces and four views and then just select every view and go here to show the hidden features and then select this one and we are going to make it a this view solid view like that so this is the part and you can make it millimeter and now you can dimension it by going here to annotations and smart dimension so this one this line and then for the select it it will place the dimension of the comparable smart dimension tool this is 15 this line is 5 angle between this and this is so this one is 60 like that this angle and this is 20 and for the placement of the drawing move it a little bit below and this point is like that and this point and this point is like that and the dimension between this and this center point is like that so um, that's it and then from this point to this cut this dimension is 35 so i think uh, it's completed we fully define it but we see if there is any dimension is missing and then from this point to this this one is 35 okay the drawing is also done so you can save it and if you have any questions, you can ask me.